Here we have the latest Wacom 22 HD tablet, the Cintiq 22 HD, and I'm trying it out here to see how it would sketch. I'm using a um, sketchbook designer. I've got a new layer put in there and I'm putting it on pencil. And if you see there, if I move my mouse really of my, my pen really quick, you can see how the icon on the screen is actually a little bit uh, delayed from that. I'm giving it a new layer, a paint layer there. And then you can see that there's a little lag in that thing going behind. And if I sketch, I really like to go really quickly. So But to be really honest, I'm not really looking at that icon at all when I make this. So in that sense, at the moment, it doesn't bother me much. I have to admit. Now let's see where we can end up with this thing and see, because I've been trying this uh, Cintiq out now for a couple of weeks just to see if it would be useful to get over the um, the normal Wacom tablet Wacom tablet I'm sorry and uh, I see the advantages of course by working on screen as you can see here it's pretty clear to a certain extent but then say for instance I make this rough sketch And now I want to go in and closer and really tighten the lines up. So I make a new layer. And I'm going in here and I want to get exactly there to the dot. And make this radius, for instance, a little bit tighter. Now I have to admit I'm not at all looking at the icon here, that circular thing with the arrows on the screen at all. I'm really looking where I put my pen tip, or my pencil tip in this case, to see what I'm doing. Which I, and if you look here, there's a quite a distance even there between the material thickness of the glass layers here, and so where the pen supposedly touches the paper is quite significant. Now I must admit, if I if I say this is it's pathetic because on the other hand I'm drawing on a normal Wacom tablet without even getting close to the screen at all so I'm guessing I'm looking up while I'm drawing down with my hands down so I'm not even looking at that so I have the luxury already of looking at this so in that sense it's pretty darn good but it would be ideal if there was a less of a height difference between these two you see what I mean so now I'm roughing this, see, and it's pretty, you can get to the right point, but it's not ideal. And I know that in this program, okay, you can make a path, and the path, uh, you can uh, sketch along the path, and that sort of thing, but that's not the objective. The objective is to be as real to life as you can get, and as real to life as you can get doesn't mean, if I make paths, if, if I make complete curves, I can make a 3D model. So that would be, I'd rather make a 3D model than I can immediately use it. If I'm sketching or rendering in 2D, it should be quicker than making a 3D model. If I have to make curves, then it's not quicker than making a 3D model, because then it's just slowing me down by comparison. This should be really instantaneous, and that's my, at least that's my logic behind this thing. 
and and I would like to stick to that because it makes sense to me. So now, for instance, say I, say I like this, yeah. I don't, but say say I do. See, I'm making these curves here tighter, and I'm getting uh, my obligatory ship's curve out here. Sorry. Just to make sure that I can, if you see this, and I want to make sure that I can make a line clear to that, to cover this line here. And now you see what I have to do. Normally on paper, I would see where the pencil line was. But now you see where the star is a little bit above it. And I don't know where it will draw. See that? It I know it's, it's luxury and I can undo things and that sort of thing. But I want to make sure that if I do this, look, there is a thing, the circle. And if I draw along this line, I want the circle to be okay. Now see if I can draw exactly on that line again. No. I miss it just a little bit. See that? Can you see it there? One second, let me try. So I think for, for sketching, it, it works ideal. I mean, I'm sorry if if it's I'm, I know I'm finicky with this whole thing. It's it's it works, um, and it's better than than a conventional tablet. And in that sense, it's a luxury to have. But if then if there's any chance. Of these getting a little bit more closer, a little less thickness maybe, or the serve some some somehow the projection a little bit closer to the outside that it seems like it. That's one thing. Secondly, I like the white screen of it, the white screen format of this thing. Um, I would love it since I'm used to the 27 inch, and in most places we have the 30 inch already. Can this thing be? 30 inch I would I love the part that this thing can rotate like this and I'm not convinced that not having the rotation uh, like in a 24 HD that that is the the right solution I think this might be the I still think that this rotation option because uh, you see me drawing like this you see that I'm, I'm not drawing it like this I'm not drawing because uh, I I write, I'd like to rotate, and I write, like to rotate my paper around. This is the correct angle for me to sketch, so there's no issue at all. What is my issue? My issue is that <laughs> I always want something a little bit better. So, um, Wacom 30 inch with this rotation option, um, and I would be a total happy man.